Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and keep watching more details. Who is Carl on the bold and the beautiful if Carl, the guy at the crematorium on the bold and the beautiful looked familiar, there's a pretty good reason for that. Firstly, actor Sean Whalen has appeared in numerous films and television shows during his extensive career like Batman Returns, Twister, Never Been Kissed, Friends, Lost, and Scrubs. Secondly, the character has actually been on the soap many times before, first appearing way back in 2007. In June 2007, lab tech Carl Ferret called Bridget Forrester to tell her that he knew whose eggs were implanted into Taylor Hayes, but when she met him, he admitted he had lied to spend time with her. However, he did assure her that he could still find out. Although Carl initially determined that Taylor had been implanted with the donor eggs, he later realized that Taylor could be carrying Brooke Logan's eggs. Bridget wanted him to keep quiet and threatened to end their friendship if he told anyone there could be a problem with the eggs. However, after Taylor gave birth to a baby boy, the infant was ill and needed a bone marrow transplant to save his life so Carl and Bridget ran some tests and learned that Brooke was indeed the egg donor. Carl appeared again in August 2008 when he helped Bridget run some tests to figure out why Eric Forrester was so deathly ill and discovered that he had been poisoned. When Nick Maroney and Bridget were trying to get pregnant in November 2009, Carl popped up again and offered to help with the lab work for the insemination, but they politely turned him down. He did warn Bridget to double-check the labels, though. Shortly after that, Taylor was disappointed when her internet date turned out to be Carl and she ghosted him. In January 2011, Tawny Moore contacted Carl about making sure a paternity test reported that Liam Spencer was the father of Amber Moore's baby. Although reluctant, he doctored the test results to name Liam the daddy and when Amber and Tawny didn't t pay up, he threatened to reveal the truth about the baby. Later, when Amber thought she might know who the baby's father really was, she asked Carl to do a DNA test and he delivered the results as she was giving birth. The baby daddy was actually Marcus Barber Forrester. Carl resurfaced years later in March 2024 when Deacon Sharp accompanied Sheila Carter's body to the crematorium to say a final farewell. As the body entered the oven, the sheet slipped and Deacon realized the feet had ten toes so it couldn't be Sheila's. He tried to stop the process, but Carl told him it was too late and the oven door shut. Stay tuned to see if he shows up again. Who is Carl? It's a question that has echoed through the luxurious hallways and scandalous bedrooms of the bold and the beautiful, the iconic daytime soap opera that has captivated audiences for decades. Carl a character shrouded in mystery, intrigue, and whispers, has become a central figure in the tangled web of love, betrayal, and drama that defines the show. In the bustling metropolis of Los Angeles, where the rich and powerful play by their own rules, Carl emerges as an enigmatic presence, weaving in and out of the lives of the show's beloved characters. Some say he's a charming entrepreneur with a dark past, while others speculate he's a cunning manipulator pulling the strings behind the scenes. But one thing is for certain Carl's arrival has set off a chain reaction of events that will forever alter the landscape of the bold and the beautiful. With his piercing blue eyes and disarming smile, Carl first appears at a glamorous charity gala hosted by the Forrester family, the reigning fashion dynasty in L.A. dressed in a sleek black suit. He effortlessly commands attention as he schmoozes with the city's elite, leaving a trail of curiosity and fascination in his wake. Who is this mysterious stranger, and what secrets does he hold as the weeks unfold? Carl's presence becomes increasingly intertwined with the lives of the show's core characters. He strikes up a flirtatious rapport with Brooke Logan, the spirited matriarch of the Logan family, Sending shockwaves through her tumultuous relationship with Ridge Forrester, the dashing heir to the Forrester Empire. Their chemistry is undeniable, sparking jealousy and suspicion among those who dare to get too close. 
but Carl's connections extend far beyond the world of romance. He strikes up a lucrative business partnership with Bill Spencer, Jr., the ruthless media mogul known for his cutthroat tactics and insatiable ambition. Together, they plot to take down their rivals and seize control of the city's most lucrative industries, setting off a fierce power struggle that threatens to tear L.A. apart at the seams. Yet, amidst the chaos and turmoil, Carl remains an enigma, his true intentions shrouded in secrecy. Some speculate that he's driven by a thirst for revenge, seeking to settle old scores and reclaim what he believes is rightfully his. Others believe he's simply a man with a hunger for power and wealth, willing to do whatever it takes to get ahead in the cutthroat world of high society. As the plot thickens and alliances shift, Carl's past begins to catch up with him, threatening to expose the dark truths he's worked so hard to conceal. A vengeful ex-lover emerges from the shadows, hell-bent on destroying him and everything he holds dear. Secrets are revealed. Alliances are tested, and loyalties are shattered as Carl's carefully constructed facade begins to crumble. But amidst the chaos and betrayal, Carl finds an unexpected ally in the form of Hope Logan, the sweet-natured daughter of Brooke Logan and the late Deacon Sharp. Drawn to Carl's magnetic presence and haunted by her own demons, Hope sees something in him that others overlook a vulnerability, a longing for redemption. Together. Carl and Hope embark on a journey of self-discovery and redemption, confronting their pasts and forging a bond that transcends the boundaries of love and friendship. Along the way, they must navigate a treacherous landscape of deceit and betrayal, where one wrong move could spell disaster for them both. In the end, Carl's true identity is revealed, shocking the residents of L.A. to their core. He's not the ruthless businessman or vengeful lover they thought him to be, but rather a flawed and complex man struggling to find his place in a world that has never fully accepted him. And as the dust settles and the sun sets on another day in L.A., Carl stands tall, ready to face whatever challenges the future may hold, secure in the knowledge that he is not defined by his past, but rather by the choices he makes in the present. Yet. Amidst the chaos and turmoil, Carl remains an enigma, his true intentions shrouded in secrecy. Some speculate that he's driven by a thirst for revenge, seeking to settle old scores and reclaim what he believes is rightfully his. Others believe he's simply a man with a hunger for power and wealth, willing to do whatever it takes to get ahead in the cutthroat world of high society. As the plot thickens and alliances shift, Carl's past begins to catch up with him, threatening to expose the dark truths he's worked so hard to conceal. A vengeful ex-lover emerges from the shadows, hell-bent on destroying him and everything he holds dear. Secrets are revealed, alliances are tested, and loyalties are shattered as Carl's carefully constructed facade begins to crumble. But amidst the chaos and betrayal, Carl finds an unexpected ally in the form of Hope Logan the sweet-natured daughter of Brooke Logan and the late Deacon Sharp. Drawn to Carl's magnetic presence and haunted by her own demons, Hope sees something in him that others overlook a vulnerability, a longing for redemption. Together, Carl and Hope embark on a journey of self-discovery and redemption, confronting their pasts and forging a bond that transcends the boundaries of love and friendship. Along the way, they must navigate a treacherous landscape of deceit and betrayal, where one wrong move could spell disaster for them both. In the end, Carl's true identity is revealed, shocking the residents of L.A. to their core. He's not the ruthless businessman or vengeful lover they thought him to be, but rather a flawed and complex man struggling to find his place in a world that has never fully accepted him. And as the dust settles and the sun sets on another day in L.A., Carl stands tall, ready to face whatever challenges the future may hold, secure in the knowledge that he is not defined by his past, but rather by the choices he makes in the present.